So as you can see, I have a cable on the first fret. So there are two things you need to keep in mind. The first one, technically this is the first fret, second, third, fourth, and so on. But since I have a cable here, now this becomes our first fret, second, third, fourth, and so on. For example, if I put my cable here, now this becomes our first fret, second, third, fourth, and so on. Now the second thing, whatever chord shape I play will sound a half step higher. For example, if my left hand plays a C major shape, the sound that's coming out is a half step higher. So what's half step higher than a C? It's a C sharp or D flat. Another example, if I play a G major, the sound that's coming out is a half step higher, G sharp or A flat. So here's another example. What if I move my capo to the second fret? Now, if my left hand plays a C major shape, now it will sound two half steps higher because my capo is on the second fret. So if I play a C major shape with my left hand, the sound that's coming out is a D major, two half steps higher. So please take note. Here's the intro. So we need seven chords. The first one is G major, index, 5th string, 2nd fret, middle finger, 6th string, 3rd fret, ring finger, 1st string, 3rd fret, then A major, index, 4th string, 2nd fret, middle finger, 3rd string, 2nd fret, ring finger, 2nd string, 2nd fret. After that, F sharp major. You take your index, you bar all of the strings on the 2nd fret. Middle finger, 3rd string, 3rd fret. Ring finger, 5th string, 4th fret. Pinky, 4th string, 4th fret. Then, B7. Index, 4th string, 1st fret, middle finger, 5th string, 2nd fret, ring finger, 3rd string, 2nd fret, your pinky, 1st string, 2nd fret, then E minor, index, 5th string, 2nd fret, middle finger, 4th string, 2nd fret, then A major, then last one, D major. Index, 3rd string, 2nd fret. Middle finger, 1st string, 2nd fret. Ring finger, 2nd string, 3rd fret. So we have 7 chords, right? The first 6, we play each chord for 4 counts. The last one for 8 counts. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Five, six, seven, eight. So your strumming pattern for the whole song is down, down, up, up, down, up. Here's the verse. We need eight chords. The first one, D major. Then a new one, B minor. You take your index, you bar the first string until the fifth string, second fret, 
then your middle finger, second string, third fret, ring finger, fourth string, fourth fret, pinky, third string, fourth fret, then E minor, A major, then a new chord, F sharp minor. You take your index, you bar all of the strings on the second fret. Then your ring finger, fifth string, fourth fret. Your pinky, fourth string, fourth fret. Then B7, then E minor, A major. Each chord for four counts. Here's the chorus. So we need D major, A major, B minor, F sharp minor. G major, D major, E minor, A minor. Each chord for four counts, all of the chords we learned just now. After that, we play the intro again. Then in verse 2, there are two parts. The first one is the same as before. The second one, it's a little bit different. It looks like this. So we need six chords. The first one, G major, A major, F sharp major, B7. All of these chords we play for four counts. After that, G major, A major. The last two chords we play for eight counts. After that, we play the chorus again. Then after that, we have eight counts of D major. So let me just play the chorus, then eight counts of D major. Da, 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 da. After that, the ending, we need three chords. So we need G major, A major, last one, D major. For the ending, you don't need to count. So that's it. I like you so much, you'll know it.